Hey there everybody, Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter from CarterMatt.com. This video is our preview for The Bachelor Episode 4, which contains quite possibly the greatest case of production intervention in the history of this franchise. Absolutely. It is incredible. I, I do not know how they have pulled what they have pulled off here, but if you did not guess, I am talking about the fact that Victoria Fuller and Chase Rice dated in the past, yep. and yet production somehow convinces Chase to come on this season for the what are typically just really silly random country singer performs in front of a date. And here we are. It's really strange. I don't know why he would bother to agree to do this. And more so, I'm very curious to see how it's all really going to be handled. Because this could be handled quite easily in that Victoria walks in, sees her ex up there, turns to Peter and says, That's my ex up there. I don't know what's going on in this date. Do you know that? And he'll be like, No, I didn't do that. know that. And she could be like, Great, can we go do something else? Yeah, sure. We're going to get into all of this. Before we do, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other updates. I just got to know, I think first and foremost, <laughs> like, what is, I, I want to know what, I wish I knew the order of events. Like, let's put it that way. Like, I'm sure when you ask people and you do like a questionnaire preseason, I'm sure they ask Victoria, what is your dating history? Probably. I'm sure it was the show like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. That's got to be one of the first questions. Yeah. Do you... Or have you dated anyone famous? Yeah. I'm sure that's on there. Yeah. She had to have tell, told someone, whether it was yeah. in casting, whether it was a producer. And th I just wonder then, like, how, when do they go to Chase Rice then? And does, I guess Chase, I don't, I'm assuming Chase probably did not know Victoria was a contestant. That's my feeling right now. <sighs> that's the only way that I can possibly think think that he would agree to do it unless they ended on some sort of not that bad terms yeah and he thought yeah i would gladly do this for her because there are exes that don't hate each other and that maybe he was like yeah i'd like to be able to do something like this for her and play for her and someone else and maybe they're not it's not so contentious and i just I then just, of course, wonder, does Peter then know, did they tell Peter any of this? I'm guessing not. No. They just threw poor Peter to the wolves on all of this. I wish we had someone here who was in the, at, at wherever they were doing this concert. I wish we had one of the extras here so that I could get, like, the play-by-play -play on, like, the facial reaction of Victoria <laughs> when she walks in and sees that it is Chase Rice performing. Yeah, I just... It's so awkward. It's going to be so awkward. We're all here for it. This is The Bachelor. We're here for these dramatic moments. We're here for these awkward moments. But this feels like it's going to be one of the more awkward moments that we've ever really had on this show. It is strange on all kinds of levels. And if you're Chase Rice, by the way, former Survivor Nicaragua contestant Chase Rice, you've been on reality TV. You know what sort of things can happen to you. Which, by the way, Chase Rice, very notorious for being, like, really super wishy-washy in the final tribal council of that season, and he did not win. He lost to a guy named Fabio. Let that sink ah. in for a minute. <laughs> but uh, this... I, I think the other question, of course, is... Does the fact that Victoria date, dated Chase, like, is this going to affect anything with Peter one way or the other? I think if she doesn't really come clean with it and she just goes through the whole date or a lot of the date and doesn't tell him and she's just acting weird, like, I think it could affect things because Peter might think that she's not being honest. At the same time, it's such an awkward situation for her to be in that I think Peter would understand that she's just like... I'm on a show, my ex is yeah. up on stage, I am finally got a one-on-one -on -one date with this guy I really like, and now everything is just falling to pieces or burning up in flames. Yeah. How do I really deal with this? And the only way that I could think of that she could deal with this the easiest and the quickest is 
walk in, see him, turn to Peter and be like, I dated that yeah. guy and this is not going to work out as a date. Do you have anything else planned? Let's go. <laughs> and I'm sure Peter be like, yeah, I don't really want to spend my date here with you and your ex. Like, yeah, let's go. And then that's it. Producers have wasted all this money and wasted Chase's time. And here we are. Here's where things get fun, though. I feel like Chase's record label... There's probably like a contractual agreement here that they have to have a Chase Rice performance on this episode. Do you send Chase Rice back to the Bachelor <laughs> Mansion and he just goes and performs with all of the women that are there? Does he sing to Chris Harrison? Or does he chase them down and just keep singing? That that actually feels like it's like a recurring Hannah B <laughs> nightmare where Jed is just chasing her, like singing his dog food jingle. <laughs> but no, like that, I... I really hope that uh, Chase has a long, stiff drink after this episode, after what he's going to be put through. Well, I hope all three of them have that. What I'm really hoping is that they can all kind of, at the end of it, have a yeah. bit of a laugh at their own expense. That, you yeah. know, you're on The Bachelor, of course they're going to do stuff like this to you. And yeah, well, at first it's going to be kind of strange and weird and yeah. awkward or whatever. I'm really hoping that whatever, however their relationship ended, that it's not so bad that it's going to ruin any chance that she has with Peter. Because right now, they're okay. Like, she's not a front runner, but she's not someone that we've never heard of either. Like, mm -hmm. there's something that's kind of there. The only concern I really have about Victoria right now is, like, remember night one when she was freaking out? Mm -hmm. There was drama night one around her. There was everything at the Revolve fashion show that was going on where she was kind of getting upset about that those circumstances as well and bah! feeling like she wasn't seen. This is the third time, though, no, in four episodes. That, everything that was happening with her at that Revolve fashion show, I completely understand. I'm someone with anxiety. I get that. And, uh, there's other people that feel that way, too, that just... That's not in their nature to put on clothes and strut down a runway and all that sort of jazz or just feel kind of weird about the whole situation of how it's all kind well, of set up. That one, I'm going to give her a pass on that. Here's the thing, though. You could give her a pass on all of them when you really think about it because night one, it's understandable to be freaking out in that environment. There was a few people that yeah. were feeling weird in that environment. Revolt Fashion Show, also understandable. Yeah. Also understandable to be freaking out that your ex is performing at your one-on-one -on -one date. Yes, production has really put the pressure on her and have put her into situations because I'm sure that this is also asked on no. whatever contract or yeah. whatever questionnaire they're giving i'm sure they're asking her what are some of your fears and i'm sure it came out that she doesn't like to be standing up in front of crowds and i'm sure that everyone that put that on their questionnaire yeah. all ended up on group dates where you have to stand up in front of crowds i think it's it's, it's just going to be an interesting story to watch for peter moving forward because kind of from the outside looking in it's easy to sort of at least understand where she's coming from in particular situations. But is Peter going to look at this and be like, okay, here are a number of different situations that have just kind of gone sideways with Victoria on some level. Or I just, I don't know where his head is at with some of I this. I don't think he will with this one. You've got your ex yeah. on your date playing for you. Like there isn't anything yeah. that... There's there's no good thing that's going to come out of that situation that Peter could ever think that her feeling weird about it yeah. or crying or melting down yeah. is not a normal reaction to doing something like that. Like if I went somewhere on a date with someone I really liked and my ex was there performing for me like and he's the main attraction of my date, I'd be pissed. I think it's really just going to depend on, I think, how she reacts to this. Like, I think it's understandable if she is upset or if she is sort of struggling with it. But, you know, the Bachelors, they're usually so like, uh, oh, you know, we should just roll with the punches or whatever else. So I, I think how she reacts to it, I think, is going to be a big part of it. But I also think he will be like, production, I see you. I know what you have done. Let's talk briefly, though, about something you mentioned in the reaction, and that is the idea that Alea may be coming back. I don't... Yes! Uh, I don't think it's happening, because if it was, wouldn't they show 
her wandering back into the mansion and just building up that drama. Yeah. No, I don't think she's coming back. I think she is just going to come back and explain herself, yeah. explain what was going on, try to at least leave on a little bit better terms and explain herself to everybody that's watching. It is a TV show. She did get caught saying something, you know, talking about something that wasn't mm -hmm. true in this lie. Um, and I'm sure she doesn't want everybody just only focusing on that. And that she wants to have a chance to redeem herself. And I'm glad she's going to get a chance to come on here and do it. Not everybody gets that chance. There's lots of people that leave reality shows and you just... You get a bad edit yeah. or you say you say something that you don't mean or you do something you don't mean. You never get a chance to walk that back. This is an opportunity. I'm glad she's getting a chance to take it. Well, I think regardless of whether or not she's back in the competition, you know, we are going to hear from her on the Women Tell All. So yep. she will be able to have her voice heard. I feel like she will probably be just ganged up on as she's having her voice heard. because. Probably. Easy sort of target, easy person to take on. She already had the bus backed up over her yeah. plenty of times in tonight's episode, so... Yeah. Alea, if you're not around anymore, you will be missed. You were tremendous for, like, one hour of entertainment. Yes, you were tremendous. We thank you profusely for that. And we're looking forward to seeing you on Bachelor in Paradise. Oh, yeah, because that's totally happening now. There's no doubt about it. But uh, what do you guys think is happening on episode four? If you're Victoria, how do you react to Chase Rice? Share in the comments, and if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us more by checking that link in the description to the Carter Matt store, and we'll see you here next time.